try this. This is pretty hard though. I might have to cop this for real. Yeah. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to create a mask using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go. So here in Adobe Premiere Pro, we have a little sequence setup where I wanna be applying a mask. So here you can see we have this mirror within our shot that we are gonna be using for this mask. The first thing I wanna do to this is to make sure that my shot is really, really stable. Um, if you're not using a stable shot, it's going to make the mask like move and jump all over the place. But I'm going to show you what you can do to still fix the layers like that. The first thing I want to do is to apply the warp stabilizer. Now I want to make this shot look as stable as possible as if I was using a tripod. So to do that, you just want to switch the subspace warp to position. And I'm going to turn this up to 100 and hit apply. So now we can look at the before and after and you can see the differences. So now that we have our warp stabilizer applied, now we want to create our mask. And to do that, you want to go to opacity. This should be inside the fast control tab. You want to go to opacity and just look for this pen tool. So I don't know if you ever used Photoshop before, but it's basically doing the same thing over there, over here. So let's zoom in some more so we can see exactly where we're going to be applying our mask. So there we have it. Now you can see we just created our mask. A tip I would say is to make sure when you create your mask, you started the first frame. Therefore, when we begin to track this, everything is gonna line up. So we just created our mask and as you can see, it's inverted. So to fix that, you just wanna go over here to invert it and hit that. And now you can see our mask is center in our mirror frame. We're gonna need to be tracking this. So to do that, you wanna go over to this play button and just hit play. All right, so when that's done, you should have something looking like this. There's a few more things we could do with this just to make it look, you know, as pretty as possible. We have a few options on the side here. One is gonna be the mask feather, and that's just gonna be, like if you notice at the edge of this mask, it looks a bit soft. So if you don't want it to be soft, just bring it down to zero. And as you can see, it's like super sharp. Let me zoom in some more. So let's put it back to 10. And you can see it's blurry. Let's bring it back to zero. Me, I want it to be kind of soft because the footage is kind of soft. So let's say two just to help match, you know, everything else in the shot. Next, we have the mask expansion. Let's say um, my mask was a little bit too small. You could just widen it or you could make it smaller with this option here. So let me show you that. Let me bring it down a little bit. And as you can see, it moves, make this bigger. So as you can see, it moves within, you know, our range. So I want it a little bit right there. That should be good. That's at zero. So now we should have everything set up and ready for us to apply, you know, whatever else clip we want to be seeing. So let's do that. So I'm going to look for a shot. Let's say randomly, I want to apply this clip here. So I'm going to drag this clip to the top. Then I want to drive the clip that I want to be seeing in the mirror underneath that clip. So now look at that. Look at our scene. Our scene went from just the mirror itself to now we have a shot within a shot. And this is why using masks could be so creative in videos. So let's fix this up and show you what this looks like. I'm gonna do something a little bit more creative with this by creating a nest of the top clip and then adding like a little zoom in effect on this. Yeah. 
And just like that, we just created our own mask effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And if you like my merch, be sure to pick it up. Links will be in this video description and I'm out.